Hey there, I'm Maria Bela de Faria and I am the founder of Tierra by Maria. And today I want to talk to you about beauty, of course. <laughs> I personally believe that true beauty comes from the inside. And that means that everything, everything we put into our bodies has a reaction that inevitably translates into how we look. So today I want to share with you the foods that I personally choose to avoid for beautiful, glowing, gorgeous, healthy skin. And of course, overall health. Disclaimer, there are as many ways to do things as there are humans in the world. This is what I believe to be true for me. And it does not mean that it has to be true for you. So please, please, please take responsibility for your actions connect to your intuition and do your own research. Let's start. Gluten. <laughs> it causes the body to produce excess zonulin. Zonulin? Zonulin. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not stupid. I'm Venezuelan. This is my second language. Zonulin causes leaky gut. Once undigested food passes through that barrier into our bloodstream, it stimulates an immune response which sets off a chain reaction of just inflammation, which is very, very bad for our health and, of course, for how our skin looks. Okay, so some foods with gluten are, and I'm so sorry, bread, <laughs> cereals, oats, wheat. Don't shoot the messenger. But do not worry. Currently, there are so many options out there gluten-free, like gluten-free bread, which is amazing. But beware, not all gluten-free options are healthy. I personally recommend staying away from gluten and still eat delicious carbohydrates. My favorite foods are rice, potatoes, cassava, plantains. They're all delicious and gluten-free. Sugar! <laughs> Sugar is terrible for the body in general, but it also reacts against the skin in three major ways. Ready? Number one, it increases oil production and clogs pores. When consuming sugar, we release insulin, which regulates blood sugar levels. But because refined sugar is so, so quickly digested, large amounts of insulin must be released to get that sugar into cells as quickly as it is digested. These insulin spikes cause excess oil, triggering clogged pores, blackheads, eczema breakouts, and more. Like, so much more <laughs> bad stuff. No! Number two, processed sugar feeds bad bacteria in our gut. Once fed, these bacteria grow and reproduce, outnumbering and outgrowing good bacteria in our gut. And that causes bacteria imbalance. Such imbalances have been linked to acne, rashes, bad luck. <laughs> it's just really bad. Number three, and this is like sugar literally ages you. Processed sugars and refined carbohydrates bind to collagen molecules, resulting in the formation of compounds called advanced glycation end products. H for short. <sighs> the body is unable to break this bond and the once perfect and usable collagen molecules become useless. Dairy products. <laughs> Did you know that approximately 75% of the world's population loses the ability to digest lactose when weaning? So when we were babies or toddlers, so a long time ago. What's really bad is that many of us don't really know it. So we keep consuming dairy and we wonder why we have rashes, digestive issues, bloating. Ugh. In addition to the part that says that we don't really have the enzyme to digest lactose thing, dairy is really bad because it's pro-inflammatory. Also, Non-organic dairy products contain growth hormones and or antibiotics. And these hormones have been shown to interact with our own hormones in a very, very bad way. 
But currently there are plenty of plant-based cheeses and milks out there. And if you have the possibility and the means, I highly recommend you make your own plant-based milk and plant-based cheese. That way you know it's of the highest quality. Refined vegetable oils. Why do I say it like that? These oils, most of the time, have been subjected to a refining process under extremely high heat and the use of chemical solvents like exane. I'm going to read from my computer right now so you see how bad this is. This leaves us with an oil in which the polyunsaturated fats have undergone a great deal of oxidation and are therefore highly inflammatory within your body, producing free radicals, damaging cell membranes, contributing to faster aging, please no, heart disease and other possible and very bad health problems. So the oils I personally consume are extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil or avocado oil. Easy peasy, avocado squeezy. <sighs> the sad one, alcohol. <laughs> alcohol can harm the health of our skin in several ways. First of all, the body sees alcohol as a toxin. <laughs> It promotes inflammation within the body, which could result in inflammation in the skin, of course. To make matters worse, a lot of people mix alcohol with sugary drinks and that elevates blood sugar. And we already talked about that. And that is a big no. To top it off, alcohol is also dehydrating. Yay! <laughs> and has been shown to deplete antioxidant levels in the skin. Okay, okay, okay. It's not that I'm saying that you should never have a little drink here and there, or you should stay completely away from that delicious birthday cake. No, 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 no. I'm sharing this so we are all conscious of our choices and we're not victims of them. We know exactly what we're doing and the consequence of said actions. I 100% believe in taking care of our bodies, and I 100% believe that we should have fun as well. So mostly, I believe in balance. <laughs> Let's not go crazy here, okay? As always, don't shoot the messenger. This is what I believe today. Science could change tomorrow and with presenter with new information, my opinions could also change. So don't hold me accountable for this forever. And please, 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 please be responsible with your choices and with your actions and you know, stay in tune with your intuition. Thank you so much for being part of this community. And if you like this video, share, subscribe, like, you know what to do. See you next week. Mwah.